Hi, and welcome to Tech Radar. I'm Phones writer Tom Bedford. Two months after its grand reveal, Apple One is finally here. It's Apple's new super subscription service, which bundles together all its individual apps into one massive package. There are three different tiers, all of which include Apple Music, Apple TV+, Apple Arcade, and some iCloud storage. But higher tiers also give you extra iCloud storage, more users, and some extra apps as well. So, should you subscribe to Apple One? Now that's a big question, and it really depends on which Apple and non-Apple services you already use. Let's explore those factors now, so you can decide if you should sign up to Apple One. First, let's go through the three Apple One subscription tiers, so you can see what the differences are between them. First, there's Individual Tier, which costs you $15 and works for one user. It comes with Apple TV+, Apple Music, Apple Arcade, and 50GB of storage and iCloud. Next is Family Tier, which works for six users and costs you $20. It also comes with Apple TV+, Apple Music, Apple Arcade, but gives you 200 gigabytes of iCloud storage. Finally, there's Premier Tier, which costs $30 and also works for six users. It gives you all the same apps as the other ones, but also Apple News Plus and Apple Fitness Plus, as well as a whopping two terabytes of iCloud storage. Now, let's look at some reasons you might want to subscribe to Apple One. If this sounds like you, it might be worth it. If you're already on the Apple ecosystem with multiple Apple products, that's a great reason to sign up. The apps are designed to work on your devices. In fact, some of them only work on Apple tech. You'll need an Apple Watch to use Apple Fitness Plus though, so it might only be worth buying Premier Tier if you've already got one. You should also sign up if you already have most or all the services. Getting all the apps via Apple One is cheaper than getting them all individually, so if you've already got them all, you'll be saving money if you switch to Apple One. If you've got most of them, getting Apple One might give you that extra app for no extra cost. Finally, if you don't already have many entertainment apps like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Spotify, Google Play Pass and more, you might find Apple One great too, as it's a one-stop shop that will give you a streaming service for each different type of entertainment really easily. Now, let's look at some reasons you might not want to sign up to Apple One. Firstly, Android phone users almost definitely won't be able to make the most of Apple One, since most of the apps only work on Apple's devices. The same goes for Windows computer owners, as most of the services don't work there either. If you already have too many subscription services, you might not want Apple One, as it could put you over the edge in terms of things to watch, listen to, or play. Even the individual tier brings you three new apps full of content, and you might find yourself paying for stuff you don't find the time to watch or play. Finally, if you only want one of the apps, Apple One probably isn't for you, as you'll find yourself paying for a few services you don't end up using. It's probably worth just buying that one subscription. So, which of the three subscription tiers should you opt for? Individual tier seems designed for casual Apple users who just use their iPhone or iPad for general use and some entertainment now and then, and who don't need the extras of the other three tiers. Family tier is great for a group of people who'd otherwise go for individual tier, but it might also be really useful for people who need extra storage, as it gives you 150GB extra on iCloud for a reasonable price. Finally, Premier tier is for Apple Power users who eat, sleep and work via their iPhone or Mac. It's likely designed for people who use their Apple Pro products, with a huge amount of storage really useful for professionals. Just remember, you'll need an Apple Watch to use Fitness Plus. Thanks for watching this video. Do you think you'll subscribe to Apple One? If you found this useful, consider liking it, as well as following TechRadar on YouTube for more like it.